Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here to do something for work tonight. I'm here to do some um, night nighttime photography of a bridge that's um, just over the M27. And um, while, while I came out, I thought I would use a new tripod that's been sent to me by KNF um, as the photography tripod. And um, they've asked me, obviously, to review that. Um, and, I, and I'm actually quite excited by this tripod. It's um, very, very small. It weighs, it weighs, it weighs about three pounds, and it's about the size of 16 and a half inches. So it's really, really tiny. Do allow me to get it out, and I'll show it to you. So the tripod comes in a box, which is in this carrier bag. Um, I'm not really sure if anybody uses these things. I suppose when you go to somewhere like I'm going to the US, which is what I want this for, um, you can put it in your bag so it doesn't go around damaging any of your property, etc. Um, so yeah, the bag itself, obviously with a, a single zip on it, um, and it allows, what is this tiny, tiny tripod to come out with real ease, and it has been protected, okay? Um, and when it's compact and when it's in that bag, it, it is 16 and a half inches in length, really, really small. And um, to use the tripod then, we have to um, open her up, like so. Okay, so we've now got um, our three legs out, and we can lower the tripod head, and there we have our tripod. I have had my issues with tripods um, in the past, but I'm quite excited by this one, and, and I mean that. I, I wouldn't say that if I wasn't, guys. Um, and I will tell you straight away that the price of it is only £114. Um, and the other good thing is, if you use the code that's been given to me, which is PWBP, I'll put it down on the bottom because I've probably got it wrong, um, you won't get 10% off, guys. Uh, they've offered me the chance to offer you guys 16% off, um, and that's if you get it before December. So, yeah. Um, um, it weighs, I think I've already said it, but it weighs three pounds. It's really, really light, really good for when it comes to doing landscape photography and you want to get something around um, on your back because um, we don't want to carry things that are too heavy, do we, um, as we're walking around. It does come with the plate for the camera. It's not something that I will use because I use an L bracket, um, but there it is if you want to see that. And it does also come, excuse me for one second, it does also come with this one, which is, a bracket, excuse me, a bracket to enable you to put your um, iPhone within that bracket and then you can broadcast on there and on that bracket it's got like a shoe on the top where you can put stuff like a light or a microphone etc to do it whilst you're broadcasting. Quite a handy little tool, again not sure I will personally use it but if you're just starting out vlogging and you're using your iPhone then I suppose this for you will be absolutely perfect. So certainly a worthy addition to it um, and very cleverly made I have to say as well. Okay so the tripod itself is made with aluminium and carbon fibre. The, the aluminium sections I believe are all the orange bits um, which are the locks etc but the legs etc are all carbon fibre hence the reason why it's so light. Um, yeah it extends via these uh, locks so all you do is untwist these locks and that enables you to quickly stretch it out and then all we do is lock them up so that we've got the tripod nice and firmly secured and when we finish with it we just unlock them and push them back in again lock it up to ensure that it doesn't come out as we're walking as in this one okay so just lock them all up lovely jubbly job done okay so with the tripod as well it also comes as a monopod so to get the monopod what we have to do is we unscrew the leg which has got the foam band around it which is this one okay we take that off and then we take this center section out of here now to get the center section out we have to unscrew this section at the bottom okay so i'm going to do it excuse me i'll speed it up until it's off there we go now then the only thing i didn't like was when you unscrew this you've got to put it somewhere so you don't lose it that's just one thing to beware okay but i'm going to put it in the van here and then all we do is pull the leg out okay so then, to turn it into a monopod, we just screw the two in, and we have our monopod. Again, we can stretch out the legs like so. Put our camera on the top, and there we have our monopod. Okay, it, again, it's not really something that I use. I'm not really into monopods, but um, you might be yourself, 
um, and, and, and you know it's a worthy it's a worthy addition to the tripod if that's what you want okay so um, when you're finished lock it all up again exactly the same way unscrew it put our leg back onto the tripod itself as you can see really really easy put the head back in lock it off I like to do it so I've opened one of the legs okay and then put this hook back in okay so the hook itself guys I'm gonna do a couple of close-ups so I'll add those in okay but um, the hook itself then it will enable you to put a bag I mean the, the whole thing behind this is light but if it's light it, it also has its downside as in the wind is gonna find it a little bit easier to blow but with the hook you can put a bag on it so it's got some weight to give it that extra stability whilst you're using um, the tripod itself. Um, with it comes a ball head. Okay, the ball head is the BH28L, if I remember correctly. BH28L, um, but the good thing is it takes an L bracket, which is points up for me. So the model of the tripod, if you're interested, is the D. 255 C4. I will put a link into it below um, in the panel if you want to have a look at it. Um, yeah, remember to add the code PWBP um, when you do it. That will get you a 16% discount on the purchase price, and I believe that's only available with my code at this time. I'm not sure if that is true. Um, it's just something that they've offered me for you guys. Okay, so um, yeah, do give it some consideration. How tall it goes? Okay, let's have a look. So, um, I'm just over six foot tall. I'm 6'1", 6'2". Um, this is, I think it's 68 inches high when it's fully stretched out with the tripod legs. So as you can see, for me, it's just about the right size, to be fair. Um, really, really nice. It's actually quite sturdy when it's down, and with that bag, on that hook underneath it I can see it being really really sturdy so yeah a really nice addition to my set and I do actually think it'll be a really good this addition to yours or anybody else's set so with the tripod then obviously um, in the ball head what you can do is unlock it um, and that enables you to rotate that ball head around 360 degrees and if you wanted to get portrait angle what it allows you to do is move that around that side, lock it up, and then you can put it in if you've not got an L bracket. Obviously, with an L bracket, you would leave it lined up, put your tripod on the top, uh, put your camera on the top in the L bracket, and just move it around like that. Okay, and obviously, the ball head as well rotates 360 degrees, nice and easy, nice and smoothly. If you buy it, please let me know down below. Hope this review's helped you guys. If it has, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. If you need to know any more information that I've not told you during this review, then please leave it below and I'll see if I can answer those questions. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. Sorry. Um, what, what I've done is I've got the um, Kent Faith um, tripod um, shooting downward at some wild garlic. Um, let me explain. Um, yesterday, I went to do photographs of the bridge because I wanted to get light trails. That was a total flop. Um, unfortunately, the um, council, the whoever, whomever, um, decided to shut down a load of the lanes. And where I was, there was only one lane of traffic going by um, at that particular time. Um, and, and it just wasn't gonna work. There, there was very little traffic as well. So um, it, it wasn't gonna work. So I, so I bin that. Um, so I have no photographs to show for you from that. But I wanted to come out and shoot wild garlic with this tripod to show you the abilities or the capabilities of the tripod tripod i.e. being able to turn the um, ball head upside down so you can get the camera really low to the ground when you're doing things like shooting wild garlic etc and um, so allow me to set that up i have taken a couple of photographs already using um, the z8 and um, with the 105 i think it's the 105 macro lens um, yeah they look pretty good. I'm using focus shift shooting, so it's to show you the stability of the tripod itself with the camera on. Um, although there is a teeny weeny bit of wind and I don't know how that is going to affect it. I am doing the photographs at F16 ISO 400 um, and that's giving me something like 
uh, oh, I can't remember, I think it's 400th of a second, um, but I'll, I'll put that down if I remember. Um, but the, they look pretty good. Um, so allow me to set this up and I'll show you once it's rigged up. Thanks guys. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, I, I'm gonna share the photographs that I've taken with you of the wild garlic. Um, I've done three, maybe four with the macro lens. I'm gonna do one now of a wider perspective with these light rays coming through um, of the wild garlic. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I hope it's been some help, um, a help to you um, in a choice for um, a tripod. I do really think it will be of benefit for you if you're traveling. Um, and I do think actually as a landscape um, tripod, it will be really helpful because it is so light and it is rather versatile. So yeah, um, hopefully that's all work for you. Um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks guys. I'll share the photographs now. Bye-bye.